Well, there you have it, folks. ETH ETF, whatever. Price action, not to the moon. All that stuff. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but guess what? It's okay because it's Friday, okay? Uh, one day after the Ether spot ETFs get approved. Feel anything? No. <laughs> Oh, man. I know, I know, I know. It's okay. Whatever. We're not mooning. It doesn't necessarily mean we're supposed to moon, okay? They're still figuring this ish out, okay? So, nonetheless, we'll do the top-down analysis on Bitcoin. And we will be going live today, Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we will be giving away 100 USDT. D USDT. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, we go... And do a morning update video Monday to Friday. We also have an amazing, amazing Discord. So thank you for being here. And join us down there. And we would love to have you. So going through what, what the heck's going on. You know, you get this ETF. ETH, ETH has not done a hell of a lot. Everybody getting hyped. Everybody getting liquidated yesterday. We had an amazing live stream with over 2,000 views in less than an hour or whatever. And, you know, it's just, just sucks, doesn't it? Um, so let's forget about that. Let's set ourselves up for success for today and see what the price is going to do. Okay, so we are getting this cool down. Okay, and if we're treating it like a range, we can simply see that there is volume at three level spots here. And we are currently coming back down and testing the point of control of the range. Okay, after coming up, sweeping the liquidity of the highs, well, where do you think the liquidity is now? And I'm sorry to say it, but it's mostly, mostly below us. Ooh so there could be a little hunt here. There could be a little hunt up to 70, let's say 74,000. But, you know, I would remain optimistically patient right now. Um, but... We'll have to wait and find out. So you can see we are clearly in this uptrend. We have cooled down and we are looking to hopefully push after three red days, four red days, right? We're in our fourth right now. So let's see if we can push back. Let's push back because we definitely want to see the price go up, right? Right. I think we want to see. Yeah, yeah. We want to see the price go up. So if you also don't mind i want to see those likes go up smash those down below i would be very grateful for that um but the daily here cooling off okay view up getting down below minus 10 suggesting a little bit of a retracement back up hopefully we can see a bounce from here we have yet to see the bounce and money has turned red okay so not so good in my opinion um cooling off after such an amazing little bit of craziness during the day um of hopium big huge hopium and we were looking at monday for the pump okay so monday being the next close for our three-day time frame as you can see right now we are we have closed this candle here and clearly clearly we have gotten rejected thank god it didn't engulf okay thank god it didn't engulf however cooling down looking for that continuation i would love see this little bounce thing here happen and that continued that's what i would love to see i also like that i'm seeing let me bring it over here i don't know why why i do it over on this side um where where the money continues to ladder its way up where it's here slowly but surely we win the race right so a little bit of a sell-off right now let's be patient in the near-term future i don't know why i just clicked on the 20 hour okay so Looking here, we can see we got the red dot confirmation coming down. So what does that mean? We can anticipate a green dot eventually. Um, for me, it's going to take this momentum of the VWAP to come back up to the zero line. So that's what I'm going to try to forecast here. So 12 hour, very overcooked VWAP, okay? You can see we have come back down to this point of control, retesting our massive support around 67,000. 66 8 around there right and we're holding for now we're holding for now we do have this upwards trend line that i'm well aware of that we could come potentially back to and retest before heading upwards okay we are in 
a little bit of a down channel. However, I would really like to see these lows here at around 66,000 hold, okay? That would be good. That would suggest for me a little pushback and maybe a little chop sideways before trying to make a run upwards. You know, if we do get a swing failure and a continuation, that's okay, but I would really like to see this 66 hold, okay? We know we have tons and tons of volume support here, so I think we could be anticipating a hold here, but we'll have to wait and see how it works out today. Today is going to be um, an interesting day. Fridays have typically pumped recently, so we can see that the VWAP's over, very overbought or oversold and looking to push up eventually, okay? You don't see it typically get to this negative 15 area, right? When you do, you typically see something like this where it bounces back up or bounces back up here, right? Um, so that's something to be aware of, that we are very much being pushed down and we can be looking for a possible bounce today, okay? Looking at the eight hour, curvature to the upside, money freaking coming out. However, curvature to the upside, suggesting a little bit of a pushback here. We'll have to wait and see, okay? We'll wait and see. Going into the four hour, what are we looking for here? So we want to see that VWAP crossover money continuing to push up. Looking good here. Momentum, very deep, big anchor wave. Okay, big anchor wave creates small trigger wave, creates continuation, basic market cipher strategy. So we are holding the lows here. I'm looking for continuation to the upside, looking for everything to kind of accept their bottoming and push onwards and upwards, okay? That's something I'm definitely looking for today. You can see a lot of these short-term time frames are, <coughs> have been obviously dropped down quite aggressively after yesterday, but we can also see that they're holding on for dear life here and looking to um, eventually push up and over the hump here on the three hour. Going into the two hour, we have crossed over. And then the one hour here is the interesting thing in my opinion. So the one hour, you can see we've got anchor trigger wave here. Um, pushing us up, okay, looking good. We have a couple of levels that we are looking to hold as support. As you can see here, we have clearly come down and touched, let's see it, the point of control, local, okay, local point of control, and we have bounced. We also have a little shelf in here that we have bounced from actually perfectly. Um, so that's looking good here. Looks like we're finding some support here, okay? This is a good sign. The momentum waves pushing onwards and upwards. It means there's, there's a good chance for us continuing to push up as long as we see money flow coming back in, okay? 30-minute time frame, okay? So looking at this, we know where our volume resides. We know we're at the point of control. Where is the top of this volume? So we go back over here. We can see value area high matching up with this. We are currently touching on that right now. So let's pull up our levels. Our levels are suggesting that we have some rejection zones within us. We have sandwich price in here, so let's get rid of that. And we can look for key areas that we are looking to trade. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the two hour. I'm gonna zoom out, get off of market cipher. And you see on my market cipher that we are clearly, hopefully preparing to bottom and push out, right? And then we are looking for continuation and crossovers on the higher term time frames. Now, looking at where the liquidity resides and the more local stuff, local, um, we can see that we do have this bounce zone down below here, which is a liquidity grab that we can see on this wick. We can also see the massive wick suggesting buyers are coming in, buying up price at this, at this point, right? Um, you don't see big wicks over here, you see the big wicks here. So buyers are coming in and pushing price up. Now this could be ETF FUD, uh, this could be, you know, people still having some hopium. So let's be very cautious about this order block in this area down here that we could potentially come down and visit. Now, I do have one sell wall here around 68,770. This is the golden pocket of this range within here. So we'll be eyeballing that up as well, okay? Going over the one hour, um, for me right now, I'm going to pull a fib from swing high to swing low. Swing high to swing low, right? You can see that's lining up with a nice order block up here at the 786. So I'm going to 
market that one as well. Now I will be making um, a market cipher video for next week, an order block video for next week, and some risk management slash mindset videos for next week because I will be going away on vacation. So hold your horses. Don't forget to support the channel that way when we are making those um, videos for you guys during the week next week. Um, and I would greatly appreciate that. So we have some key levels here and we can clearly see that these lows are also bounce levels as well. So we're prepared. We're prepared. Let's see what the what, let's see what the market gives us. Let's be prepared nonetheless and see if we can take advantage of the price action. Right now, I want to see a pushback. I want to see some structure changing to the upside. I would like to see um, this price action start to make some higher highs and higher lows and continue on its merry way upwards and onwards. Okay. We'll see if we get it. We'll see if we get it. It's going to be an interesting day, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Much love to every single one of you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys later this evening for a beautiful Friday stream. Let's go.